Hey, you guys, I made it. I'm a doctor. A tremendous accomplishment at any age. Sometimes. I have. The journey. Delivered the Milwaukee Journal Sentinel. Takes I time. I have been a writer for the Kenosha News. Worked in a bar. Worked in a movie theater as an usher. I have groomed horses. I have cleaned up after horses. I've done a few more that I just can't remember. But most of it was radio. <laughs> The new 1047 The Wolf, New Country and the Legends. Good That's morning. DJ no, Jim Shag behind the mic for decades. People. Unlike Johnny Cash, I've been everywhere, man. <laughs> One stop the along the way changed everything. Down. So what changed for you? What's different? Everything has changed for me, and it, I can take it all the way back to 2005. That year. I think it's Jim and Jen. What are we looking Shea at? Shea and his radio listeners raised money to buy phone cards and satellite phones for Wisconsin troops serving in Iraq. Hey, Milwaukee, this is Camp Victory. Shea made the trip more than 20 hours to hand deliver that donation. We want you all to know that we appreciate what they're doing. A show of appreciation and a first hand look at the war zone. While there, he documented his days for us, bringing back video and stories. This is Coalition HQ. This is where all the coalition officers... Camp Victory. Camp Victory, yes. Which is yes. one of Saddam's old palaces. Yes, this is his main Baghdad palace. From the palace to the people to the troops on the front line. We just got a call for a possible uh, IED and explosive device went off. The trip stuck with him. What changed then was my attitude about life because I went over there and I saw the devastation. I saw our young people with no legs and no feet. And I wanted my life to just be more than, hey, here's another 10 in a row with no talk, you know? I wanted it to be different and significant. So he returned to college, graduated from UW Parkside, and kept going. Started podiatry school at the age of? 58. At an age when many are planning for retirement, Shea took his next step. Barry University in South Florida. The university says the average age of students in its podiatric medical program is 30. Brand new doctor at 62. Now, Dr. Shea is in residency. The hours long, the satisfaction great. As long as I'm licensed, I can practice till I'm 100 years old. And I plan to do it. That's your plan. I plan to go as long as I possibly can. I think I owe it to, I owe it to God. I know, and I'm not a real religious person even. But I look up at my parents and I say, hey, I did it. And I'll do it as long as I'm needed. Barry University says Dr. Shea is the oldest to graduate from the program in at least a decade. He's wrapping up his first year of residency in New York with two more years to go before deciding where he wants to practice.